Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 21 Darkness Falls mod. I'm going to show you a little base that we have for the hordes, and I'm going to take you through it, some tips and tricks. So let's go. Alright, so here's the exterior. We have a little bit of a slope with a landing spot. This helps the zombies not get stuck, and they'll run up here, and then they'll head up to the top there. We also have the entire base suspended on the 0 0.025 meter blocks. These are the centered version down at the bottom here. Now, the nice thing about these guys is they're very thin, so the zombies don't really get stuck on them. They can pass through easily. They don't get raged or anything like that. Now, we have the first couple, usually the first three or four, uh, basically max out to our max resource, which is steel at the moment, um, just to prevent them. If they do break anything, they won't usually break these. We also have the base of them all steeled up and then anything nearby. So like down here where they fall, we'll have some spikes to hopefully do some damage and counter the rage. And then if they start digging or blow up, they're gonna hit these stronger blocks first before they can get to these uh, vulnerable blocks. So then we have our claim block there with a light. And then back here is the way up. So you have a ladder here. I haven't gotten rid of this yet, but basically it's gonna look like this eventually. Two poles there, one just for some extra support. A ladder we can jump up on. We'll climb up here into the first door. So in here, we just basically have a little bit of a spot to fight everybody, mostly going to be melee. We have some drop chests here, also with some extra water. We have water on the floor, and then this is the main fighting position. The zombies will run up there. We have some electrical traps. We'll get some blade traps soon as well. It's three tall, and then uh, the only caveat, sometimes the larger zombies kind of get stuck up there, the behemoths and stuff like that. But usually we'll uh, take the rifles out and uh, start sniping them. So this is also double layered, so we have a layer in the front, a layer towards us, but it's also thin enough to be able to hit and uh, melee the zombies quite easily. Nobody really gets through here unless they kind of get their legs blown off and then sometimes they make it through, but usually that's one or two every every in-game hour or something like that. It's really not much to be concerned about. Um, all around this is also layered in case things blow up or start to hit blocks nearby. We also have this door here to kind of hold off for a second if we're getting blown up. We need to heal, anything like that, or even if this breaks. Down here we have three hatches. You can drop down, you can shoot through this, you can use molotovs, grenades, rockets, and in darkness falls you can also get a little bit lower underneath these blocks so you can repair and or shoot your rockets a little bit safer, grenades, molotovs, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of them do get stuck down there, and then these bars are also steel to prevent any kind of uh, acid and spit up kind of sitting on those. It usually happens, so I think they're actually a little bit, yeah, decayed at the moment just from all the acid, so the traps. And then we can close that up. We have water here for all the fire, all the demons. Another box, we have a door on each side that we can close if we need to. This side is a mirror of the other side. We have two doors we can use to throw down molotovs, explosive, shoot rockets, all that good stuff, shoot regular bullets. And then our traps, um, we have enough traps for one of each spot, plus room to walk behind if we haven't put a dart trap or anything like that. And then this is also double layered, so we have one layer here and one layer on the outside. We have this, we can close that. I do want to add on a way to get out this way. I'll show you on the other side, we have a small hole that we can use that I just happened to have open. It's the same on this side. So I want to make some kind of maybe door or something that I can have a little walkway out so I can get the larger ones that get stuck or use a rock launcher or grenade or molotov a little bit easier. I uh, just have to be careful because once you get out here, you're going to get spit up on and all that good stuff. All right, back inside. Other than that, this is basically a cutoff area in case we get bombarded we close those doors and then right here we can either use this as a fallback position or we can just use this to shoot straight through uh, it seems to work nice for rockets because i don't have to worry about hitting that bar right there as long as you get through here you're pretty much safe you have more water in case we get wet or in case we get on fire back here this is our storage room as well as our generator we have three color-coded buttons uh, switches here this one's for the lights the yellow this is for the blue for the electric, and then red is going to be for any other traps that we might have, so like a blade trap or a dart trap. Two chests here. This one's filled with all kinds of goodies for killing. Some medical stuff here so you don't get killed. And then the build one here, basically all kinds of materials, gasoline for the generator, extra blocks, repair stuff, stuff like that. These two hatches will go up top. And this is our bird nest here. So this is how we take out all the birds. We have a little turret here. We can come out here. We can take them out. we got spikes to help prevent them as well. And then also spikes on that portion. Um, 
usually you can shoot them through here if there's a couple at a time. As long as you stay out of the sky, like as long as the sky can't see you, so if you're underneath the base, not too many of them spawn. But once you get deeper into Darkness Falls, you will get the, uh, like, a succubuses and all the other flying flying creatures, I'd say. Um, but we shoot right through this. I think this is maybe steel or concrete. I think it's just concrete, but they don't really damage that much. Coming back down here, we have a door on each side just for multiple people to get up and down at a time. Uh, and then there's a generator there. And then also this door in here just in case we need to fall back or do anything else with a light. Come back through here. We can close all these guys. And here's a uh, repeaters, basically, or relays for all the electricity. So far, we haven't had any issues with explosions other than accidentally killing ourselves with our own explosions. Um, but in future, I would like to be careful with some of these things, like this chest it does have a little damage to it, and these relays have to keep an eye out. Any kind of demonic fireballs and stuff like that, make sure they don't take those out. Just a precaution. Close all that. We can head back outside to show you a few more things. All right, we have a little bit extra support in the back as well, and then the other ladder for multiple people. I had to beef up this a little bit. I might end up changing this, but I think this is important to be solid so they don't go underneath it. Uh, and then they have the landing here so they don't get stuck. They can run right up and then uh, we can head back up this way basically these are where the turrets are the uh, traps and then i made this little incline so they're more likely to get shoved into here we do have some of the larger creatures like the behemoths and uh the ones with the fist freaking pickaxe things uh, i don't like those guys kind of get stuck here once in a while so you have to keep an eye out then we usually use our guns for that we have a steel reinforcement going all along the bottom of each side plus a double walled here there's the traps, and then these are all steel, uh, the double steel, versus that's just single steel, uh, just stage two, I guess. And then we have some more support going along the whole thing. Now, originally, this plan was to copy this entire thing onto another one and have a little bit of a, like a dual design, so I can have multiple people, a couple at one, a couple at the other. Um, but we've been getting by with just this and it's a lot of resources so it's been working pretty well for a note you want to upgrade these posts pretty early on because a couple of these go out your whole base is going out you don't want that to happen and then anything that's getting a lot of damage so right here this whole area that's all this great shade which is basically the second stage of the steel max that out as much as you can once you get to the titanium and then you're going to want to get this stuff here because you don't want this to break and then the zombies can't get you they get mad, they get everything else, you're dead. Um, then a couple other things like this kind of stuff takes a lot of damage. But anything that's concrete, really haven't had to worry about. I did upgrade a little band on this whole thing, just because it was taking some damage. Inside is hollow. There's a block inside. I did have to kill a zombie in there before, but for the most part, they don't get stuck in there. We also have the trap doors there, so we can shoot down. That helps a lot, especially once they get gathered up here. I made this wall a little bit of a wedge so they don't get stuck as easily. But the base premise of this design is to get the zombies to come to you. They'll fall once in a while, they'll get stuck, they'll fall down into the spikes, take some damage. Basically, endless cycle, just keep going up and down. And then you want to try to use melee as much as possible just to conserve your bullets. Also, if you have any skills maxed out, the melee is super easy. Get health back, all that good stuff. And then if there's special zombies, we can try to kill those as quickly as possible. Screamers, any kind of uh, demonic ones, or anybody that's going to shoot fireballs, stuff like that. And then other than that, you just kind of got to keep upkeep on everything, make sure nothing's getting destroyed. But other than that, it's been working pretty well. I'm going to continue to layer this back in concrete so they don't blow up back here and dig underneath and the whole thing collapses because they're breaking dirt instead of concrete. But overall, it's a nice base. I enjoy it. It's fun to be able to melee without worrying about 50 different directions. Only caveat is because of the darkness folds, you get a lot of the demonic ones that shoot fireballs and stuff like that. So I might even up get a turret or something like that. But you just have to be careful of the bomber boys, the demos. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any tips or tricks, drop them in the comments. I'd love to check them out. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.